Welcome back, mitochondria access, Dr. Peebler, for another episode of Cancer is a Mitochondrial Metabolic Disease. Today, I would like to discuss further the idea and concept and treatment protocol known as the Press Pulse Protocol that has been hypothesized and is now in the testing phases and clinical trial phases for various types of cancer. We have talked at length about the Warburg effect. We have talked about hypoxia and pseudo hypoxia. We have talked about cancer stem cells. And these are to lay the groundwork to understand why we are going to be doing what we're going to be doing. So the press pulse protocol utilizes as a backbone a calorie restricted and ketogenic diet. That is the backbone. Then they add on inhibitors of both glutamine and glucose, and they're going to be affecting various intracellular pathways, both the uptake of glucose, the metabolism through glycolysis of glucose. It's going to also be looking at restoring the normal metabolism found in cells by trying to shut down hypoxia and pseudo hypoxia, which is driving cancer metabolism and the Warburg effect. It's going to aim at abolishing the acidic tumor microenvironment. As we've talked about in the past, our bodies can be in a state of ketosis likely indefinitely, but at minimum for a long period of time. However, as we talked about during the glutamine video, there is a tug of war between cancer and between our immune system and other systems that rely on glutamine, the amino acid, the most abundant amino acid in the bloodstream. So we cannot just press down glucose and glutamine continuously or else we will suffer side effects and potentially significant consequences. Therefore, the inhibition of glutamine is essentially pulsed to where the cancer cells that rely heavily on glutamine feel it first while trying to minimize toxicity and side effects to the body, the healthy part of the body, in a strategy that destroys cancer over several cycles. So this is the paper published in Nature Metabolism in 2017, and it's titled Press Pulse, a Novel Therapeutic Strategy for Metabolic Management of Cancer. And what it says is that a shift from respiration to fermentation is a common metabolic hallmark of cancer cells. This we know. As a result, glucose and glutamine become the prime fuels driving the dysregulated growth of tumors. The simultaneous occurrence of press pulse disturbances, what's considered the mechanism responsible for reduction of organic populations during prior evolutionary epochs. Press disturbances produce chronic stress, while pulse disturbances produce acute stress on populations. It was only when both disturbances coincide that population reduction occurred. The press pulse strategy for cancer management is illustrated with calorie-restricted ketogenic diet, KDR, as we've talked about, as the base foundational principle for the press pulse protocol, used with drugs and, as we'll try to look at, supplements and natural products that achieve the same goals, and procedures that create chronic and intermittent acute stress on tumor cell energy metabolism while protecting and enhancing the energy metabolism of normal cells. It sounds like a fantastic idea, a fantastic concept, and a fantastic strategy that utilizes the real biology, the real biochemistry, and the real metabolism at the heart of cancer cells. As we've talked about, that metabolism is truly the Achilles heel, the thing that we can exploit to the max to minimize damage to the rest of our body while maximizing killing of these abnormal and diseased cells. So in conclusion, optimization of dosing, timing, and scheduling of the press pulse therapeutic strategy will facilitate the eradication of tumor cells with minimal patient toxicity. This therapeutic strategy can be used as a framework for the design of clinical trials for the non-toxic management of most cancers. Whether or not you are a patient, whether or not you are a loved one of someone who is struggling with cancer, whether or not you are a healthcare provider, nurse, physician, oncologist, surgeon, radiation oncologist, that should be music to your ears. The eradication of cancer while minimizing any toxicity whatsoever from the human body and improving quality of life while being under the treatment of cancer. 
So this slide and this graphic is from Dr. Seafried's and his group's paper on the press pulse protocol and strategy for the non-toxic management of cancer. And we're going to talk about in great detail the bottom part of this protocol. We have in prior videos looked at ketosis. We have in prior videos looked at the glucose ketone index. We have in prior videos looked at the use of ketone bodies, both endogenously produced while on a therapeutic ketogenic diet and exogenous ketones as the foundation of the press pulse protocols. However, what we have not talked about and what I have got several comments on during the short life of this channel is that people want to know what are these glucose inhibitors and glutamine inhibitors that are referred to during the press pulse protocol and strategy. And also, sadly, how can I find a physician or a practitioner who will implement these strategies for me? How will I be able to get a hold of these medications, supplements, etc., and find guidance? I find it appalling that a patient should have to travel out of state, out of the country, do things that were, would be shunned, ridiculed, frowned upon at minimum by practitioners of healthcare in your local area to get the likely best treatment of cancer possible and improve their odds of survival and thriving with cancer and after cancer has been beaten. But that is where we're at right now in 2024. And that's the barriers that you as a patient or a loved one of a patient or a practitioner will have to overcome in order to walk this road. And it underscores the importance that you are in control of your healthcare that you are in control of your healthcare decisions and you are ultimately acting as your own doctor. Do you need someone who is medically trained or clinically trained to help you with these protocols? I think that it would be irresponsible of me as a physician to say no. To say that you can do this on your own, I think would be difficult and risky. At minimum, you need someone who is integrative, functional, who can give you guidance, who can oversee your progress, and who can check the necessary laboratory studies and potential radiographic studies and coordinate with any conventional or integrative oncology team. Because although there are going to be some folks out there who want to implement these protocols without any conventional treatment as an adjunct or as primary treatment, there's going to be people who want an integrative approach who are going to be doing the best that conventional medicine has to offer while utilizing these strategies. And I think that at minimum, you should have the choice to do that. Whatever you believe is right for you. Unfortunately, right now, with the way things are, you are extremely limited with the support that you can receive with these kind of therapies due to the lack of general education and training that either conventional hematology, oncology, conventional medicine as a whole, but also within the integrative functional space. In the next coming videos, we're going to be talking about specific glycolysis and glutamine inhibitors, things you've heard about potentially through watching Dr. Seafried's videos, such as 2-deoxyglucose, such as Dawn, but a whole host more. And we're going to look at the mechanisms of action and put tools in your hands so you can ask your healthcare providers about these medications, supplements, and interventions that gives you the best possible results. I want to quickly go over this graphic because I think it is an interesting way of organizing this strategy. So as we see here, we have KDR, which stands for ketogenic diet restricted, calorie restricted, and ketone supplementation. And that is going to be a constant throughout your use of the press pulse protocols. And you're also, according to Dr. Seafried, going to be doing regular stress management. That could be exercise, that could be meditation. There are many ways to manage stress. And the reason why they put this in here, and I think it's a smart reason, is because they want you to manage cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that your body needs to survive, so it's not all bad, just like most things. But when it's in excess, it will raise your blood sugar, which will ultimately raise your insulin and will potentially curtail your success with ketogenic strategies and press pulse strategies. Therefore, it is a constant throughout this 
therapy. What is not constant is the pulse therapies. And that is pulses of glucose inhibitors, glutamine inhibitors, and in this case, HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And there are very specific dosages and recommendations for specific atmosphere of dives within hyperbaric oxygen and specific timelines and specific frequency of hyperbaric oxygen. We are going to, on this channel, go quite a bit deeper than this graphic because there are several other strategies that could be employed during the press portion, which is a constant, and several other strategies that could be implemented during the pulse days and pulse weeks of this therapy program. Some of those you may have heard of, some you may have not have heard of. We're going to go into as many strategies that are safe, that have efficacy, that make sense metabolically from what we know about cancer, and what is going to minimize any side effects or damage on your body. Because what's the use of beating a tumor if you're left half dead, if you're left debilitated with side effects that are irreversible? What's the point? So we're going to dive deep into these strategies. I just want to be very frank. I'm not going to be practicing medicine over the internet. We're not going to be giving medical advice. We're not going to be telling you exactly what to do with dosages and protocols. That's not safe. I need you to be under the care of some qualified licensed practitioner. They will give you the dosages. They will give you the schedules. They will give you what you need to do. If they don't know what they're doing, they can ask. There's a couple of resources. There's the Hippocrates Research Foundation founded by a couple of physicians who are advising people around the country is my understanding for the use of press pulse protocol. I've seen ads on my feed, on my YouTube feed of a female, I think nurse practitioner or PA, forgive me if I'm mistaken, who is implementing press pulse protocols. And I think that she has licenses in several states. And I know there are a host of other integrative practitioners throughout the country that are using strategies like these. I just want to also say that it breaks my heart that this strategy and these therapies are not covered by insurance. You're going to have to go out of pocket. Now, fasting is free. Ketogenic diets are not that expensive to, to do. A lot of the other important strategies like perfecting your circadian rhythm, getting outside and getting grounded, getting outside and getting sun, those are free. However, the glucose inhibitors, the glutamine inhibitors, the IV therapies, the hyperbaric oxygen therapies, the photodynamic therapies, these are not free and they are not cheap either. So be prepared when you start this journey that unfortunately you're, you're not going to get a whole heck of a lot of medical support from the conventional people and you're not going to get any financial support or very little financial support from insurance for these protocols. And it sucks and it's sad and it makes me very angry, but that's where we're at right now in August of 2024. If you have questions, please email us. My email is always in the description. If you need additional guidance, Dr. Seafried, I know for a fact, will if you email him at Boston College, he will get back to you. And I know also that the Hippocrates Foundation, Research Foundation, also will get back to you if you reach out to them. There are resources, there are support systems, but you can do it. It is possible. And you can thrive with this disease. You can survive, but you can also thrive. But you have to have the right mindset. You you have to have the right motivations. You have to have the right support system. And you do need to work with someone who is, I don't want to say formally trained because there's no such a thing, but you need someone who has a good understanding of cancer biology, cancer metabolism, and at least understands these press pulse papers, understands the core concepts. And if you have that and you have that ally within the healthcare system, then you are, you're ready to go. I really look forward to going through this journey with you. I'm not there administering the IV therapies. I'm not there, you know, calculating your GKIs with you. I'm not there on your days when you're fasting. I want to help you from at least an educational and information standpoint to give you the best shot possible. I want to help you understand the disease you have. I want to equip you with the best knowledge that the medical literature currently has. I want to expand greatly upon what Dr. Seafried has laid out here in this particular slide with the press pulse protocol. I think there are a lot of blind spots that he has in particular. He's not looking at the quantum effects to the degree that I think that some of the other integrative functional and quantum practitioners out there and the knowledge they have. He's not talking about even some things as simple as vitamin D, sun exposure, melatonin, 
these are powerful allies in your cancer journey. But the bottom line is it's a fantastic foundation. And I look forward to sharing what I understand and what I have found while scouring the medical literature in the efforts and in the spirit of assisting you in your journey, wherever you're at, wherever you're at in the world. And if you know someone who has cancer, if you know someone who's struggling with cancer, suffering with cancer, please share this. Subscribe. I'm going to continue to bring important, clinically relevant content that is science and literature based. And I'm going to enjoy being on the journey with you. Until next time.